Oh, hey there. My name is Alex Remnick, and we'll go through the steps of throwing on the wheel. So for throwing on the wheel, we're going to need wooden tools, metal tools, a wooden rib, and sponges. Next, we're going to need to grab a fish size of clay to wedge on the table so we get all the air pockets out. And this motion gets a majority of the air pockets out and the clay particles align. And you just do this a couple for like a couple minutes and then you switch sides and go the opposite direction. So now that we have our clay wedge, we're going to want to form it into a ball by pounding it with our hands. A nice rough shape. And then the next step is to throw the clay as close as possible to the center of the wheel, right here. And now we take some water with a sponge, get the clay wet, but not too wet, and then we just begin the centering process. One way to check if the clay is centered is if you rest your finger just in front of the ball of clay on the wheel, and if it kind of like touches your hand in one point, it's pretty centered, so we can move on to the next step. And so now the next step is drilling the hole in the center of the wheel of the clay. And so now for this step, you're gonna wanna take your wheel and turn the speed down slightly, and just to where it's about just before a crawl, and then we take our two thumbs and find that center of the clay and drill down. just until we get to about a half an inch to a quarter to the bottom of the clay. And now the next step would be to start spreading open the center of the clay. And this, is, this begins to shape the inside of your bowl that we will be making today. So now we're going to want to take one of our wooden ribs and smooth out the inside of the bowl. This compresses the clay and takes out any other unwanted bumps on the inside. And we get a nice smooth surface. So now that we have our desired form and shape, we can let the clay set up a little bit and dry up so that when we can take the bowl off the wheel head, it'll be much easier. And then we take our wire tool and run it across the bottom of the pot, dragging the water through the piece so it will be easier to take it off. And we can get it to the point where it just slides right off. Take, remove one half of the splash pan with our two fingers, scoot the pot off the edge. And now we have to wait for this to dry so we can trim it up and then put it in the kilns to fire. <laughs> 